This is the Lagertha Easy Knit Shawl. This is a top-down, half-hexagon shaped shawl with gorgeous lace details in a feathered pattern that reminds me of wings. The edging is knit perpendicularly to the last row of the shawl and joined as you go for a seamless finish. You will need 725 yards of number 5 bulky weight yarn and a size US 13 or 9 millimeter circular knitting needle, 36 inches or longer cord to accommodate many stitches per row. You can also optionally use stitch markers and you'll also need a yarn needle and scissors. The sample shown is in Be So Easy yarn, my number 5 bulky weight 100% milk cotton yarn in color bisque. I used 5 balls to make this beautiful shawl. This shawl is worked from the top down beginning with a short rectangle from which the shawl stitches are picked up. We're going to start with casting on. You want to take a slip knot and slide it onto your knitting needle. That first slip knot counts as the first stitch. And then we will cast on four more stitches for a total of five. And then knit 30 rows. You want to knit each stitch across for a total of 30 rows. This is what your work should look like after knitting 30 rows of the five stitches. And now we're ready to begin the shawl setup. So for the next row, we're going to knit these five stitches. Then turn our work to pick up and knit along this edge of the rows. We need to pick up and knit 15 stitches, and since there were 30 rows, that works out to be picking up and knitting into every other end of row. I like to grab two strands instead of one. I feel like it's a more secure way to pick up and knit the stitches. So we're going to pick up and knit 15 stitches along this edge. And then turn our work again and pick up and knit into the cast on edge of all five stitches. Okay, this is what your work should look like at the end of the first shawl setup row and you should have 25 stitches. Row two of the shawl setup is to just knit each stitch across. Row three of the shawl setup section is to knit the first five stitches. Then work knit one, yarn over 15 times. And then knit the last five stitches. This is what your work should look like at the end of row three and you should have 40 stitches. Row four is to knit every stitch across. This is what your work should look like at the end of row four. The shawl setup section is now complete and we're ready to begin the shawl body. You should have 40 stitches. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. Everything we talked about today, you can find as links in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.